Alright, alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the FIFA 21 Next Gen Career Mode with Everton. Make sure you leave a big like on the video, that's greatly appreciated as we get into this episode. You know we were on the hunt for a centre-back just to strengthen up our defence and Samuel Amtiti, who is a rumoured signing in real life, their signings I like to make as well. Players that will actually improve the team... And I'm not surprised. Everton, yeah, they look to be on a good rebuild themselves. So they're yeah, targeting someone like Umtiti, 26 years old from Barcelona. I wouldn't say he exactly covers what I mentioned about the speed. 67 sprint speed, agility 61, acceleration. Uh, but the fact he's a realistic signing, and he's an upgrade though. His overall defensive ability, of course, it's more than just the pace. Defensive awareness is very important. Shot power, <laughs> important attribute, not really for defending. But injury prone, we got to go past those little negative things because, as I said, uh, he could be very well making his way towards Everton. Let's go in to make the transfer. But before I do, if you guys are wondering about the features of next gen, career mode not really changing, you know this was supposed to drop on the 4th. So, yeah, these couple first couple episodes will be getting out before then. Apparently, this is the initial version, and then some career mode changes are going to come. Just a couple people have said that, so we've got to wait and, wait and see. So, so don't be surprised if in a few days it's going to be looking different. Yeah, we just have to wait and see if that's going to come to fruition. But for now, let's try and sign um, Titi from Barcelona. Let's see how much they're wanting. Oh, my gosh, they might it might splash our budget. Let's see if we can work some magic here. We might not be able to sign anyone else if we bring him in. As we head into the transfer now. So yeah, see how we're going. And let's see how much we'll be able to tie um, Titi up for once more. A 26-year-old center back. That's an upgrade. It's an instant upgrade. But also, it's an instant negative of the budget. It's going to take away a lot of the budget. That's for sure. So we're going to chuck a 35 million bid there and a, yeah, 53. We can't afford to pay that. And plus, keep in mind, we want to have some other moves. And I reckon in the next episode, we're going to switch up what the manager is wearing as well. We might put a suit on, just look a little bit more professional. I think it looks a bit more clearer as well sometimes in these negotiations. I'm not sure if you can tell. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look as, like, like clear, <laughs> like the white shirt. I don't know why, but anyway, just to let you guys know, I see that as well. Uh, we were going to see if we were going to have a chance to swap one of our players. But as we go through these, like here, I'm trying to find someone. Like you got Tossin there. He's 5 million in his value. Then I realized who else have we got as the strikers? That's hitting me right now in my mind. Wait, we need to bring in someone else. We, not just a centre-back signing. We need a striker signing as well. I was thinking maybe a backup for Harmes Rodriguez. We have a few players we want to bring in. And just seeing this right now, we don't have a lot of players that would be a good swap. We're going to try and find someone, I suppose, just to think about the money. Because I know um, Titi, he's not going to be cheap here at all. Like, Belassi is where I think. Like, he's 31 years old, 74 overall. You think, why would Barcelona be interested in him? I don't know. Maybe they can chuck him over to the B side or something like that. Uh, definitely not in the first team. So we're just trying to find something that will lower the transfer fee, basically. We know, yeah, we're going to see if this works or not. Chuck in about 40 million, because that's still above his value, technically. So we'll see about that. We'll see about that. 40 million plus Balassi. Uh, yeah, yeah, they were never, they were never interested in that. We'll be quick to... Uh, do a negotiation without that now. We have to be serious. Then we just realize uh, we may just have to get a fee accepted, a big fee accepted. So we're going to go 42 and a half million. You know, that is big money. That is really big money, but it's around what he's worth. It's what we're going to have to fork out. And that doesn't even get accepted, guys. Now, a realistic transfer that we're trying to go for is going to really kill off our budget. We're going to maybe go one final offer. A flat 45 million fee for Samuel Umtiti. And yes, it eventually gets accepted. I'm yet saying yes, but whew, big money. And now just showing you how much we're signing him for. 96k wage. Pretty happy with that. Of course, a little bit of bonuses, but considering he's on 150k at Barcelona, maybe that takes down the transfer fee a little bit. Just a little bit. So we're definitely, 
happy with that deal. And again, he's a player with a real face in the game, uh, which is always a preference. So, Thiago Almada, we might have to wait for him. Yeah, we'll wait for a bit, but two things. We know he's a high potential player, but he can replace James Rodriguez. He's that attacking midfielder. You can play him out wide if you need. You know we're not doing that at the moment because we lack the quality wingers. We have our strength centrally, as we just said, in James. And yeah, he's better as a cam behind the strikers. And yeah, playing our two best players, or yeah, a couple of our best players, the two strikers, Richarlison and Cover lewin Yeah, for sure. So my point was, he covers that, replacing Rodriguez in the next few years. And he'll have his de- development during that time. And he's a South American player. You know, the board want those signings. So he's a he's a really perfect target. I've never signed him before. I've always knew he's a high potential player, but I wanted to save it for the right career mode where he could be a hero and a needed player for the career mode, not just sign him at a top team like Barca, like Man City or whatever like that. You know, I've done Man United in the past, though. But you know what I mean? He's just another player at those teams. But at Everton, he'd be, yeah, he'd fit the story a bit more. So there he is presented as well, guys. He's been given that number three by default, which I don't mind. He's number 23 in real life, and I think he's going to come in that role very nicely for us. He can play left back or center back, which is pretty handy. It's a big fee for a defender, you can't lie. But when you bring... We'll just show it now. Uh, yeah, I say he could play left back. He's definitely going to come in as a center back. No real... Yeah, no real arguments there. I like what Mina did in that first game. Like he made a couple good tackles, so it's an interesting one. We'll drop Godfrey. Godfrey could have some future as well, but not to be starting. He's a little bit away. He's a little bit away. Because, yeah, we needed to correct what we did in the last game, that's for sure. I reckon come in for Keane. See, Holgate... I don't know. Do we give Colgate... <laughs> Do we give Holgate a start? Like... He's not too slow. I don't like his strength. I'd probably like someone a little bit stronger. He's six foot, so he's not super tall. Hmm. Intriguing one. Right. See, right back needs to be... Is that where we bring him in? We've got, yeah, options. Oh, I guess we do have... We still got players to sell. All right. We'll think about it. We got options. We got options. That is for sure. Uh, we got young John there. But yeah, that's that's what he is. He's young, only 19, still got a lot more to come. But yeah, see Coleman, he's he's 31. He, he's only getting older. He's a leader in the team, so leaders are important. But he's not going to be effective bombing forward. We need a really attacking fullback if we compare to Dinya. Like he's exactly he's that prototype, he's that prototype. So Holgate could he could potentially develop into that. Maybe play him right back and then obviously Coleman would drop. And then you got a couple options there. Mina or Keane. You guys can get up your comments. I I like I like Mina. You guys can yeah, they're gonna rotate in and we'll see who's best for us, that's for sure. If we're not intending on using wingers, do we actually try and I like Iwobi though. Could he be used in that behind the striker position? Bernard, I don't I don't really like Bernard. And he is how old is Bernard now? Yeah, he's um, yeah, he's an interesting one. I reckon you could place him in that position as well, behind the striker. So, yeah, there's a few decisions to be made. I almost have to thank the CPU here for making these offers because they're two guys for different reasons. We think we don't need them. We don't need them. John Joe Kenny, he's a 23-year-old, 76 overall. He is he probably needs to be better at his age. At 23, you're still young, but you're not going to improve a whole lot more. We're going to try and negotiate Sigurdsson first. We can get a decent amount for him. And again, for a 30-year-old, that initial offer, which is above his current value, that is pretty good in my books. A guy that's, yeah, he's no, he's not even in 80s, like in terms of his overall. So we put in a 19 million negotiation. Let's see what they make of that. Are they going to accept it? We're going to have to see a little bit of anticipation and it is it is accepted there so oh, oh, I'm incredibly happy to get 19 million for Gilfie Sigurdsson and then John Joe Kenny we touched on I just feel we can target a better option as a Coleman replacement when Coleman is gone I think John Joe Kenny isn't the man I don't think he is the man so let's sell him get a little bit of coin get a bit more money because uh, again I'm um, titty yeah, a lot of the budget was taken out of him. We know that 
for sure. So again, we're grateful that the CPU has made these offers for a couple of our players uh, that we can see leaving. Uh, that we're pretty happy to let go of. So again, we offer out 12 million, which was the maximum market value. I like to go off that with my transfers because if we see we put this out there, uh, Brendan Rogers, he looks like he's pretty happy with that. I like these straightforward offers here that we get done pretty quick smart and good deals too. So if we go into the team here, you see Holgate. Yeah, he's on that negative. He would need to be, see how it says, right back to center back. Let's train him. Let's mold him into that position. And that's one of the great new features. One of the great new features of FIFA 21 this year. Not not next gen specifically, but just in the game. Uh, yeah, if we head on over to Mason Holgate, as I said, I reckon he has the positions or attributes for that position more specifically. You look at his sprint speed at 75. He isn't overly pacey though, but then he's got decent decent attributes, and we can work on that. We can work, but I think we might need a signing because at 77 overall at 23. How much really is he going to improve, guys? I don't know. I don't know if he's going to improve a whole lot. So if we go to position... Sorry, we change player. There we go. That's the right change. Right back. That's going to improve those set attributes. Make him a bit quicker as well. Yeah, we'll do that. And now on to another rumored transfer. That is a needed position for us as well in Milik. He is a incredible striker. His contract is actually expiring. That's a key thing to note here. As you can see, his market value is exactly like pretty much around his actual value, like how much it would yeah, require to co cost to sign him. So we're going to try to get him now, but at the same time, we know we don't have a lot of money. So it's kind of a weird position to be in because I know we probably do need another quality striker. He isn't really a pacey striker, but he's an incredible finisher. So yeah, it's an interesting point in the transfer window we're at the moment. But if you look at this, we just don't have the budget. Yeah, you know when it goes at a random fee like that, we just simply don't have the money. We don't have the money to sign him, so we can at least try to put in a fee because his contract's running out. You never know. So again, I'm just going to put in a high amount there. So the maximum, uh, so the maximum will get triggered right there. Yeah, see, just a random number. This will not get accepted, and they put in an offer with Andre Gomez, and yeah, I'm quick to end that negotiation. But if you see, if you look at that, if you look at Gomez's value, and yeah, it's an interesting one, but a big no. No, yeah, we're not getting rid of him. But yeah, just showing you, we really can't go for him right now. Uh, we may need to wait. We'll wait to see if our other deals go through. Yeah, we're in transfer mode. We won't be playing the rest of the preseason, guys. Uh, so we can finish a transfers episode. And then, yeah, Premier League season will get underway in the next. So regardless, we will just sim and see... Yeah, see how we perform. See how we perform here. AC Milan, we look to be a, a similar side. And hey, talk about similar, it ends up being a draw. Uh, we had a little bit more chances and more possession. So that was a nice sign, at least. So there's... Ooh, all right. Kenny gets sold. I'm happy with that. But nah, Tom Davis is a good he's a good youngster for us. 22-year-old. I've always liked him, how he goes about it. So yeah, he's, he's a nice center mid, defensive-minded. Yeah, he's not on... Yeah, he's not on our minds. So look at this. I don't like this, guys. I don't like this. I'm titty. He's like, he's hoping to improve lackluster debut. Pre-seasons are not debuts, FIFA. He's just being introduced. But yeah, it's good to see him. Yeah, he's getting a game. And now Sigurd, this is, yeah. We have to wait on these boys. And now we've got a proper budget. And I think we have probably a good amount in the wages. If we go over to the right section... It's probably important. Over to the office. Yeah, and then, yeah, as I thought, we could probably balance this a little bit better. Get a bit more in the trap. Yeah, all right. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I reckon that that can really just make, make the transfer of Milik if we were going to do it now. Because we need a striker. See, the only thing, he's, again, he wouldn't be a super sub honestly, but he's an amazing finisher. He's an, he's an amazing finisher. That's, that's, that's a more interesting one for me. Yeah. It's an interesting proposition. He's a different, but he's got four star skill moves as well. So he could be handy. Oh, but of course we can't approach him now. Maybe that was a blessing in disguise. Just how it all played out. Let's approach him for free in January pre-contract. 
now there's just a question who we approach now almada yeah if we let's analyze our team we're going through this what yeah what really jumps at me who's going to be match winners you need match winners in your team say if we need to make a sub who are we going to bring on Hamas rodriguez see i reckon bernard and Wobi. they if we're going to play this way they could be those attack for Hamas rodriguez if he's looking tired or if we drop so yeah it's yeah, it's an interesting one Maybe a very, uh, like a right wing back. Mmm, mmm, let's think. And so funnily enough, sitting in the bottom of the group stage. I don't mind if we get knocked out here. I mean, let's see. Let's just see what happens. Quick sim. Yeah, only a draw. That means we would be knocked out. As I said, I don't mind as we don't have to worry about simulating any others. We just focus on our transfers now. Uh, building our squad for the season. And we get a little bit of money. Yeah, it's handy. Oh, now offers in for... Co yeah, I don't think we go that. Even though we're not considering him long-term, he's he's a leader. You, you don't get rid of someone like that. I don't think he's someone we sell. We're going to block offers. Like, if you think at Everton point of view, nah. So along with Thiago Almada, this is another boy we found, Emerson. His value is 27 million. You take a look at his attributes. He's that prototype. <laughs> yeah, he's the type we want. Uh, saying that description, you see his attributes. He's only 21. He's got a bit of potential in him. He's got potential in him so he can grow. He's going to have that attacking prowess. And if you click on him right now, he's another one with his contract expiring. I'm like, we manage, we can manage to find these boys. And he would be at a South American, uh, being Brazilian. Let's see how much we could get him for with his contract running out. Because he's 21. I don't think we could approach him, yeah? The same way we could with Milik. So yeah, here he is. And so yeah, he's got that right back, right mid, right wing back. So yeah, you tell he's that style of player. And what's his traits? Yeah, speed dribbler, long shot taker as well. Yeah, he's a, you know how those uh, majority, obviously not all the same Brazilian fullbacks are attacking, but a lot, a lot of them yeah have that vibe. So let's just go in to negotiate his transfer. You like finding these boys, a good young talent. His contract's running out, so we could get him a bit cheaper. I'm going to try that at 20 million. Like, it's 7 million below his value. Oh, and it's close to being accepted. They negotiate 21.9. And I'm like, all right, why don't we just accept that? I'm not going to bother about negotiating it to 21 million, save 900k, and risk maybe it not accepting. Let's just accept that. You get him really cheap. And bring him in right now, not wasting any more time. And we just have to get his contract signed. And that's going to be all she wrote. And we'll make him an Everton player. We just need to go in with the wage and you see what we're on there. Off a 30k, which is double his current wage. But like, oh man, I feel for his ability. That's a pretty, a pretty nice, tidy contract we've got him on. It's, it's nothing too amazing. So... Yeah, I think he's going to be very impressive in our formation. We're not currently playing wingers yet. He's, we've got two really good attacking fullbacks now. So that means the lad that means the lad has joined? Yeah. Oh, his name is Royal. Royal. What a perfect name to be playing in England. Oh, mate. There's just something fitting here. Royal. <laughs> Emerson Royal. I like the, I like the ring of that. We've brought, we've brought in some royalty. Ha, <laughs> ah, sweet. He's come to join the family, and we're going to chuck him in. We're going to chuck him in here ahead of Holgate, funnily enough. He's not going to be a... He's not going to be this low, Holgate. He's still going to be, you know, pushed up a little bit. Uh, but Ingmi, maybe drop him uh, out. Holgate, see, this is where he could make the bench ahead of someone like Keane, because he could play right back and centre back. Just add a bit of versatility to there, so... Yeah, that's how we're looking now. I don't, I don't completely um, hate <laughs> this setup, or more so our bench players. We've got play Holgate. I'm happy with as a defender. Davis as a younger midfielder. Delph, I'm a bit unsure about, but you know he's versatile. He can play a few positions. He might be good for a season, then ship him off. Am I still wondering if we need another striker, another attacking player? But shoring up our defence in signing Omtiti. Um, and Emerson, that I'm happy with that. I'm happy with us doing that. You work from the back. As I said in the first episode, I know uh, our I can score. I can score with our with our forwards, and our midfielders can create. 
We just need to shore up the defense. And uh, hey, we, we went and done that, that's for sure. And you see how that has left the budget now. It gives us a little something. It gives us a little something to make a final signing. Maybe if we increase it to 20 mil, judge. Yeah, what have we offered budgets to players? <laughs> yeah, we could probably push that to just over 20 mil. We can go just one more really good signing. See, sign three players. And that's high. Like, guys, if we don't make top four, will I get sacked? Say if I finish like seventh or eighth or something like that. Just, I want to finish higher than that, just for example, because that's only medium. If we just get brand exposure, in your guys' experience, if we reach that, but the rest we don't, does your job still, yeah, get kept? It's an interesting one, because that's the highest priority. So league performance is not that important then, is it? You don't want to finish too low. doesn't mean you can go and get relegated. But say if I finish mid-table, for example, I want to try and get top six at least, maybe Europa League as a minimum. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Ah, look at this. calvert Lear. No, no. PS2. <laughs> Gosh, no. A couple, even for... Ke I just... I want to settle on the majority of the squad. I don't want to be getting rid of too many first-team players, especially someone like Keane. He's still going to be rotated in and all that. I don't want to ship too many out in the first season. Because you still... Some of you guys may be watching to see playing with Everton. So I always keep that in mind as well. Keep keep the core of the squad. And just so you know, we're, we're simming the training for now. Because our focus is on transfers. We'll get the proper training. I'll play training because I know you need to get good ratings. Don't worry about that. I will be doing that for sure when we're getting into the season. Just because, yeah, we really want to get the signings in. And now we will finally decide to go for the offer with Thiago Almada. He's going to be so big. He was in my mind from the start of this episode to bring him in. We were just analyzing how we we're going to work everything in terms of those couple guys we were selling and those other players we have brought in ourselves to fit it financially. And it, as I said, it does look good financially, doesn't it now uh, with that money we had remaining and the amount that will be left. So yeah, a pretty straightforward transfer negotiation and hopefully the wage will be exactly that at the same time so we get into this right now his current wage being again another player we're bringing on who's just right now their current contract is so low so he's not going to request too much and even that 25 and a half yeah that's barely anything for a guy that will increase so much more okay i just yeah there he is almada number 15 not too bad not too bad. Obviously, we haven't played a first-team match yet. Any of the numbers that were given to players, you think they should be fine? I think so. They're not too outrageous. Or unrealistic, let's say. So, yeah. I think that will be our final signing of the window. We round that up, boys. We round that up. And Almada, he does leap a lot of positions here. Like, he's got like Balat. He could probably be sold. But, I mean, you're not going to get so much money for him. He's five-star skiller. You, can, you might use him as an impact sub. He's not that pacey though, but knowing he can pull off some skills, yeah, he could be he could be utilized. So here now, for me, he'd come ahead of Delph, but really it's Davis Davis inst instead of Delph because he's more that defensive minded. He's a CDM, or he could play a CDM. He's not ri he's definitely not an attacking midfielder. So yeah, Almada, I like his versatility. With I'm happy enough. It's still playing on my mind that Tosin is our backup striker for the season. Milik, we want to target in January to join next season. Sign him on a pre-contract, so you guys know that. I want to explain it yeah, a few times so you know exactly the plan with him. Want to bring him in, that's for sure. So yeah, do you think that's, the, that's a good enough setup? Do you think that's a good enough setup for the season? Well, I mean, it might have to be, boys. It might have to be. I'm happy with our moves. I like him. And I like how we spend our money. And now... Just so it's enough for his for his wage. It's almost perfect. It's almost perfect. And where I wanted to wait on it as well. So we get a youth staff as well. Obviously we had uh, when we started. I like how you get your youth academy at the start now. You get some players there. It's a bit realistic. Oh, we start with one as well. But I like five star. We start with one. That's cool. But okay, he's four star four. It's not terrible and you never know. I reckon we'll have him go around in England. Just for the duration. The English Scouts. Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah, normally you don't start with one. But hey. Yeah, normally I like five-star judgment myself. And oof. Jack Lee. Jack Lee. 
Yes, please. Yes, please. And even though he's English as well, he's vers well, he's a better scout. So you'd like to think he'd be better than Gabriel Yates because he's a better scout. Like what I mean is he'll be better at scouting other countries outside of England. So I reckon let's oh we could we could go any Oh, this won't count as a South American signing, will it? I reckon yeah, I was gonna say let's go there anyway. Let's go to Brazil anyway, because we've got yeah, we've got a few of those names. There we go. Brazil and then this other scout, we go on three-month intervals. And maybe we'll go scout all South America. <laughs> We're suddenly turning... I don't know, can we do something that, with this series and make... Obviously, we don't want a full team with South Americans, but I don't know. It just... It seems like the way the board wants to go about things, so we're going about that in an additional way in terms of the youth players as well. So now, because we've done our signings... Yep, calendar, we get it. It's a it's a calendar. It's It's pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, the month is about to end. Oh, yep, and the league starts pretty early in the next month. So, guys, I'm going to round things up here. And again, maybe get some training done now as we have got our squad. Leave your thoughts up in the comments. Who was your favorite signing? Out of all the players we brought in, who was your favorite signing? Did you agree with them? Who you didn't agree with? I always love to see your thoughts. Even though, yeah, if sometimes you don't agree with the signings I made, I completely understand. But out of these guys, um, Titi, Emerson, Almada, yeah, what would you rate them as signings? And are you happy with them uh, joining the team? We bring in a center back, a right back, and an attacking midfielder. A couple of them, especially for the future. Emerson a bit in between for now, but for the future as well. I like those. I like these boys we brought in. They're definitely going to contribute to us. And two of them, two out of yeah, two out of three South Americans. So yeah, we're uh, covering a few things so far. So if you've been enjoying these uploads in this series, yeah, I've been loving Next Gen so far. Uh, what I've seen, obviously, in the menus and stuff in like career mode, there hasn't been any features yet. As I said, that could be potentially coming on the official release. Yeah, a couple of people have said that because uh, it was due to release on the 4th. So I might eagerly anticipate that if we're going to have any surprise new features, if they're going to pop up or not, wait and see. But I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.